Hey guys, I'm back with another um, sketchbook tour video. This is part two of the current sketchbook tour I'm, work I'm recording on. And if you didn't see part one, I really suggest you see part one to get where I'm coming from. Um, to know where I'm coming from and to pick up where I last left off. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's get started. In this in this um, picture of Diary of Jane Breaking Benjamin, the TV version, this is you see the TV version of Jane, and it's based off of the rock and roll version of Breaking Benjamin. So if you have not seen Breaking Benjamin music video Diary of Jane, um, I really suggest you go see it and see why she she's drawn in this way and why she's crying and why she's you know drawn in this way to find out um to make connections with the picture in pocket mirror um this is goldia she's the protagonist of of the game and she finds out she's trapped in a castle and can't find her way out of the castle and find what's why why she's trapped in the castle and why she can't find her identity so she goes throughout the game finding her identity at the end of the game and stuff so if you like rpg maker horror games and you like chase, chase sequences and and puzzles you'll definitely love this game so i really uh say check it out on the website that they have for it um, you could always Google it to find it, find out where it is. Um, so let's go on to the next page. Um, here's the constellation whale. Um, it's based off of a watercolor uh, video tutorial. I forgot what the the creator's name is, but it's about a whale and. Yeah, look how happy he is and squirting out um, seawater from his blowhole and stuff. And I decided to make it constellation based off of constellations because it was a cosmic whale and stuff. So I think, you know, the original character uh, creator didn't do that. Um, but I decided to make it a cosmic whale to make it more fun and more magical. Here is Mabel from Animal Crossing. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, you'll see a lot of Animal Crossing based drawings off of off of um, the video game uh, New Leaf and stuff. And you'll see a lot of things from Pocket Camp as well. So yeah, if you haven't seen part one, please go check it out. And this is adding to another collection of, of her. Here is Sky from Animal Crossing, and here is a chibi girl asking a, a questions about where babies come from, and the teacher uh, kind of says you're too young for that, and you can't really know where where babies come from until you're older. But she keeps on asking the question, "Where do babies come from?" And he's like, "Hey, not this again." And yeah. He's basically a cute kawaii girl saying where do babies come from and the teacher ignores her because she's too young for that. Here is Tokage from Sumiko Garashi. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, but here is Tokage from Sumiko Garashi and yeah, this is him. I'm a fan of him. Um, I'm a fan of all the Sumiko Garashi's uh, characters, but I really like Togake too. Here is Shalom Ball, and you can see me representing my Chinese culture of Shalom Ball. Me and my mom always go to Sh Gongho Shalom Ball to, um, to eat there. It's a re restaurant based off, of, uh, based off of Flushing, New York. And um, you, you'll see me there sometimes eating shalom ball and stuff like that. And I also eat shalom ball with my dad, not just with my mom. So yeah. 
here is uh i would say hatsumi miku's little sister but i didn't think about the schemes the color schemes that i gave her so i just basically call her hatsumi miku's little sister because you look younger and with shorter hair and i got new colors from blick so that's why she looks like that um here's lambi the chibi and sheepy the sheep and they're so cute here's garachi i think this is my first um attempt at drawing on paper for pokemon um, I didn't really, I don't really like Pokemon, but I think Jirachi is very cute, so I draw him. I did have an oil painting when I was, uh, of Pikachu when I was, uh, um, 14 years old, but, um, I don't know where it is, so that's a shame. So, yeah. Next page is Disco-kun, a bear who likes to have fun. Oops. Who likes to have fun under a disco ball and yeah um, he's a dancing bear who likes to have fun under a disco ball and he's one of my OC's for cartoon characters here is Hatsume Muku and and um, she's a Vocaloid singer and yeah and here's Sakura Miku I got for Hatsume Miku I got a um, a Mark Crilly tutorial on it and I looked it up and saw how to draw Hatsune Miku and I drew her and um, with Sakuna Miku I, I basically had an experimentation to see if I could draw her and stuff without Mark's help and yeah um, I came out a, su a success so these are the results of Marcus Crowley's videos and stuff. Here is Eddie the Dinosaur and Eddie Jr., um, his son, and they're playing catch together. This is my OCs for cartoon characters, and yeah, and they're playing catch together. Here is another um, OC that is based off of Hello Kitty outfits and yeah she's like a hello kitty girl and her name is Maya um oops here is Ducky one another of my OCs um where I used one bowl and two bowl implants for his face <laughs> it looks like a butt but um uh, anyway um it really is uh, my OCs and and I really like Ducky and you know he's one of my OCs and yeah here is Score Bunny um, Score Bunny is basically another Pokemon that I drew and he's not one of my OCs but um, he's a Pokemon the newer versions Gen 8 and yeah I drew him I apologize for the floating head. The tutorial didn't teach me how to how to draw his body and stuff, so that he's just a floating head. Here is RJ, RJ, and and he's from BTS, not BTS, BT21, and yeah, he's sitting, and he's a Korean company based, um, off of Line Friends and stuff, I believe. And yeah, he's just sitting there having a fun time. Here is Monster Galaxy, uh, Scootsy, Scootsy, um, and it's based off of my horoscope, Cancer, and it's a black cat, and yeah, it's really personal because I have two black cats at home, um, and another white cat, and yeah, it's really personal, and it kind of represents me because it's cute, and a little bit dark and I can be a little bit dark too and yeah here is another Scootsy that I made on my own and his name is Princeton the Joker cat and hopefully I can make a video game character out of him um, in the future if I have time and the money 
Um, here's Kai Whale Sharks. And yeah, I basically drew whale sharks and I used uh, Google Images for references. And I drew them. Isn't that cute? Here is Erica. Erica is one of my OCs and she's looking up stars. Not my best OCs, but um, yeah, she's really cute. Here is another one of my OCs, Kichan and Badachan, and um, they're far spirits and they they are based off of the Legend of Zelda, the Koroks, the Koroks, the village spirits. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Here is an abstract painting of acrylic ink of and of people. The line, the colorful lines are people, and it says people and connections. Everybody's connected, and basically, it's about peace where you should respect people, and and everybody's connected in their own way to everybody, and yeah. Um, here is Pushin' the Dog. Um, Pushin' the Dog. Uh, not Pushin' the Dog. Pugshin' the Dog. I'm sorry. And, um, and yeah, chewing on his bone. And here's Chimmy from BT21. Um, and yeah, he's just standing there looking goofy. Here is. Koya from BT21 and Cookie from BT21. Oops. Here. Here's. Um, oops. Here's uh, a test page of markers for color blenders. And ignore that. Um, and here's the trio of elements watery and fiery and earthy. And hopefully, if I can make these into 3D characters um, and print them out 3D printer-wise uh, with my boyfriend, I can make them into little action figures and stuff. So hopefully, I can get that done during the months coming. Here's stickers of them. Um, and here is my new from Monster Galaxy. And it's based off of uh, um, Aries, the sign Aries for the horoscope. So I drew a little lamb for the horoscope um, Aries. Um, here's Marina, Marina from Animal Crossing, and here's Zucker from Animal Crossing. It's cute on that they have the same, they're on the same spread because they belong together. If you guys ship them, they're like boyfriend and girlfriend. And yeah. And last but not least, uh, uh, here is Retsuko from Gretsuko, and it's a Netflix series. And um, yeah, she's basically a 25 year old uh, red panda that is living alone and she hates her office life and she basically sings death metal after work when her office hours are over. So she has two different sides of her. And with that said, this is the end of the sketchbook tutorial and I hope to get a like and if you like this video, you um, click the like button and if you enjoy this video, click uh, to subscribe for more videos and yeah I hope to see you guys again and also click that notification bell until then I also hope to see you guys again and yeah with that said um, this is goodbye